But it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at something which is really annoying for a lot of people, and I myself have experienced it. This is when your microphone seems to just go on the fritz and has somewhat of a mind of its own. We will be relieved to know that it hasn't actually got a mind of its own, but Chrome and potentially Windows are making adjustments to your microphone on the fly to make it sound different, which can be really annoying if you're trying to record a piece to camera, or perhaps you're recording some screenplay, or maybe you're just playing games with your friends on Discord. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you two options which will help you to uh, rectify Windows and also your web browser from making their own adjustments to your microphone, which take away the enjoyment. So let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So the first one we're going to do is going to be in our Chrome based browser. So obviously if you're using Edge, the same applies in other browsers as well, but being that Chrome is pretty much most of the market share, I think it's pretty easy to do this. So we're going to open up a Chrome and in the top here, just type in Chrome and you want the flags. So Chrome forward slash flags. This, if you're not sure what it is, is like an experimental area and you can go in and choose different settings of how Chrome works. So in this particular instance, what we want to do is look for a section which is called Allow Web RTC, which actually is the first one that comes up. So that's pretty handy. So what this does is allows the audio processing module in the Web RTC to adjust input volume during real time call. Basically, you get the general idea. So what this does is if you're using a microphone in a web based application, such as Zoom, such as uh, Discord, all those types of things, then potentially Chrome can decide what is best for your microphone rather than you setting it up yourself. So all you need to do is head over to this section here, which says default and just change this to disabled. So that's pretty straightforward. You can see there's a little dot there now to say that that has actually been uh, changed. In order to make this a permanent change, just click on to relaunch and the browser will re relaunch itself. If for any reason this actually proves to be worse for you, then obviously you can just go back in and set it to either default or enabled. But if you are having problems already, I would strongly suggest trying the disabled method and seeing how that works out for you in your web-based browser. Now the next part is gonna be actually in Windows itself. So in order to change the Windows settings, what we need to do is to go down to the bottom here or into your search bar and just type in control panel. You can see we've got control panel there already. So we'll open up our control panel and we wanna head into hardware and sound and then go into sound and then you'll get this window popping up. So when this pops up, now what we wanna do is to choose our specific microphone. So in order to do that, we're actually in playback as a default. So you wanna go into the recording tab and this will show all your connected microphones. So on this particular instance, where you're gonna be choosing our Obsbot Tiny2 microphone. So just make sure it's highlighted. You can see it's the one that's actually working because you can see there is some movement there. So it is actually on and active. So in order to change our sections, we go into properties here and then we go into advanced. So the part which is causing problems for a lot of people is the exclusive mode in Windows. And what this does is allows applications to take exclusive control of the device. So say for instance, you've got multiple devices open or multiple applications open or programs or web apps, whatever it is, they're all trying to fight for control of your device, which can cause problems and also potentially can make things happen such as your volume not be right or for it to be peaking too much or just for it to be too quiet. So what you want to do is very simple is just get rid of that bit there. The one underneath will get rid of that altogether. Once you've done that, click on apply and then you can close down all the windows and you should find then whatever settings you make to your microphone, either in individual applications or in Windows itself, those settings should remain and they should not be interfered with. Obviously it's not gonna work for everyone, but certainly this is a, a very good first step in deciding what is wrong with your actual microphone. So there you go, pretty straightforward stuff. And hopefully by doing these two things in both your Chrome based browser and also in Windows itself, this should be really helpful and will stop those kind of background scuffles which go on between these applications, which can ruin what your microphone settings are. For me personally, my microphone, I know exactly where I want it set. So I physically set it. And then for some reason, Windows decides it. No, we know best. We're gonna make your microphone much, much quieter or much, much louder, which can be devastating if you're recording something and you have to go and do it all again. Anyway, I'm waffling on now. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it is, 
smash the like button. If you maybe you want to see more content of this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.